Tragic MTG here with how to make a thumbnail. Here we go with another one of every master set. Let's do it. Totally in order of whatever. Modern Masters 2013. What is in there? Come on. Um, been doing this series for a while now. Um, doing it this way, of course, you don't get all of the big, cool shock and awe stuff of opening the whole box all at once, but it's just like a steady grind of looking through cool stuff, finding some value, and hopefully hitting the big time eventually. Stuff like Marsh Flitter. Here we go. Let's turn on the scanner. Whoops, hold on. <laughs> Forget the thing that says that there. Hold on, let me pause this. There, you never saw that. Okay, let's scan up this Marsh Flitter and that Foil Street Wraith that I spoiled. 26 cents for the Marsh Flitter. That's a nothing card right there. Tide Hollow Sculler might be a little better. It is. It's a buck. There we go. And a Riftwing Cloudscape. And a Joyra of the Gitu is my rare. Let's read it together, shall we? A Legendary Creature Human Wizard. One, a blue, and a red. It's a 2-2. Two, two. You pay two to exile a non-land card from your hand. Put four time counters on the exile card. If it doesn't have suspend, it gains suspend. You can re read all about suspend right there. I'm not going to do it. Okay. This is uh, probably not a big one. Uh, it's a buck sixty-five for the original future site, the modern master, buck nineteen. There is our for first rare of the day. We've got a foil street wraith, which might be a little bigger. Um, this card, I think, has come back down from where it was before. Can the scanner see it? It's a dark kind of card. It is not a misty rainforest. Just to let you know. Um, I don't know why I did that. And let's see, let's change the addition. And it's a foil. 395 for the foil street wraith. Okay. Moving on. Um, this goblin rogue token might even be worth a little bit. Never mind. Forget I said anything. Ultimate Masters. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know. I just know. I give up on those things. They kind of work for me sometimes, but not often. Citizen token, face fetters in foil, and a platinum Empyrean mythic. Finally got something good out of there. Um, it's an eight drop, eight eight, and your life total can't change. That's got to help out with uh, with the game there. Seven ninety three for a mythic platinum Empyrean. We got a murderous red cap, which is worth less than it used to be. Same for those. There we go. Groundskeeper, an angler, a spark, a martyr of sands is a pretty good common, but it hasn't really come back up from where it was at before. So there we go. All right. Next up, Modern Masters Zipper Edition. Zip. Pull out the cards. Buy an Ultra Pro deck box. Why don't you? Is this on the back of a token? It sure is. Got an elephant token. Blood Ogre, Thought Cast. Like the printing quality of this set of cards here is, is just so different than some of these other ones. You can just, so the inks are brighter. Um, I don't know, seems good. Strider, Basilica, a lore scale Codal, which I think is getting reprinted, and a Sun Forger for the rare. It's an artifact equipment for three. Equip creature gets plus four, and you can pay red and white to unattach it. Search your letter for a red or white instant card for a mana cost four or less. Cast that card without paying its mana cost, and then shuffle your library and equip to three. Classic. Here we got a foil blink moth nexus to go with it there. So I think uh, ink moth nexus is the better one, right? Let's find out. Blink moth, yeah, 383 just for the regular one. Foil. 9.35, that's a winner. All right, next up, Modern Masters 2017. I believe since I've been going through these Masters, it's like one box each that I got. I have not found a fetch land, I don't think, out of my Masters 2017. I think I'm due. What do you think? What's gonna be in here? 
Come on, let's get a Scalding Tarn. Ranger. Creeping Chill. Coiling Oracle. Got an Is It Signet. Sin Collector. Pyrewall Shaman. And a Dead Eye Navigator, which is not a fetch land, in case you didn't notice. And we got a Foil Burning Tree Emissary. So Dead Eye Navigator for six. It's a Spirit with five five. It's got Soul Bond. Um, as long as Dead Eye Navigator is paired with another creature, each of those creatures has pay one and a blue. Exile this creature, then return it to the battlefield under your control. Sorry, I think there was a bunch of glare there. Let's see. It's a pretty good card. I uh, must be seeing a lot of commander play. Burning Tree Emissary and Foil is a buck. It's not bad. It's not bad. We got a zombie. Eternal Masters. Another one where I haven't pulled, I don't think, one of the amazing pulls that could be pulled out of this set yet. Hoping to get there eventually. Got an egg. Got a dancer. Got a ranger. Cool goblin guy. Swords to plowshares. The classic. It uh, actually keeps holding its value too. Got a merfolk looter, a quiet speculation, and an inkwell leviathan. Boo. Nothing big there. The quiet speculation, let me check it. Nah, nothing big there. Inkwell leviathan for nine. 7 Eleven, Creature Leviathan, Island Walk, Trample, Shroud. Cool. We got a foil mindless automaton to go with it. The Leviathan is only 66 cents. The automaton I don't think is worth looking up. There we go. Moving on. Masters 25. I keep wanting to pull the pull tab when only like one of these would have had it. All right. From Theros, let's just call out the sets that these were come from. Unearth was actually a good common, I think. It's not that great, never mind. Anyway, accumulated knowledge is one that I would probably scan and be disappointed in as well. Geist of the Moors, Fathom Seer, got an enthralling victor, congregate, mesmeric fiend, and a protean hulk. That's decent at least. For seven, it's a creature B66. When Protean Hulk dies, search your library for any number of creature cards with total converted mana cost six or less. Put them under the battlefield, then shuffle your library. Got all kinds of funny stuff you can do with that. Yep, 864. There we go. And a foil prophetic prism. Cool skeleton token. Wow, I don't know if I've ever seen that art before. I'm gonna scan it. It's a 16 cent token. All right, Modern Horizons. Everyone loves to tell me that this is not a master set. I don't care. I like it. I'm going to open it. Goblin. Um, art for... I have no idea what that card is. Let's see. We've got Snow-Covered Plains. Ravenous Giant. Snow-Covered Plains. And a Cloud Shredder Sliver. I love Sliver so much. Uh, this one is for a red and a white. A 1-1. One, one. Sliver creatures you control have flying in haste. I feel that's super pushed. I mean, turn two for those those two effects for your slivers. Couple bucks. It's solid. You have Soul Herder with amazing art by Seb McKinnon. Splicer Skill, Alpine Guide. And some commons. The little mini angel. It's cute. Settle Beyond Reality. I, uh, I think that this set is going to stand the test of time. I think it might be kind of overprinted. But uh, I'm holding on to a few boxes. Put it that way. All right, last pack. Iconic Masters. Can we get something really good here? More than 10 bucks? Not really looking that way, is it? Dissolve. Hunt the Weak. Phantom Tiger, there it is. He just, every time you see Seb's art, it just makes you stop dead in your tracks and look. Sign of Ugin. We got a Roshin Meanderer, Kulagon Monument, Demir Aqueduct, and Day of the Dragons. It doesn't sound like it's gonna do it there. Four, five, six, seven, drop enchantment. When Day of the Dragons enters the battlefield, exile all creatures you control. 
then create that many 5-5 red dragon creature tokens with flying. When Day of the Dragons leaves the battlefield, sacrifice all dragons you control. Then return the exile cards to the battlefield under your control. It is 42 cents. Oh my god. That's great. And a Rakdos Drake. All right, that's it for my uh, Masters packs for today. I always have fun opening these. I know it sounds like maybe I don't because I'm whining about the prices, but you know what? This is what my channel is about. If you liked it, make sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below. Check out my other videos, and I'll catch you later.